Willow Fire and the North Complex Fire. Oh, that's Chico. Ian, we are starting. Oh, we are. The Auburn Medical Group YouTube Let's channel. Look, looking at fires. Well, we are looking at fires because that's what's causing that's all what I, the smoke in the air looking that looking we've at. been smelling and breathing. And Yeah. So uh, we hope that you're doing well and that you're not affected by the fires, although chances are some of our viewers may be evacuated. That they may be, yeah. Or, or worse, could be. Please, please do write in and let us know your uh, situation if there is something going on. Deborah was telling us about, uh, even before we went live, she was telling us about how, uh, was it you're under evacuation order or uh, threatened evacuation? Or, we were, or We're waiting evacuation. Oh, so. Awaiting, oh yeah. man, in Thank Portola God. there. So, uh, Oof, which man. is not too far from us, uh, further north. No, not at all. From yeah. the fire that we're being affected by uh, here in our latitude of California. Yeah. Um, it's been bad, though. It's been yeah. really bad. I mean, pretty much the whole West Coast yeah. uh, has been on fire or have, yeah. had fires um, that are affecting Oregon, them. California, Washington, Washington also. Washington as well, yeah. I, uh, uh, last week, drove down um, from Seattle. My, my flight to Medford was canceled because uh, just south of Medford, there was a fire. And actually, we drove through it. There were burnt buildings on both sides of the freeway as we were driving back. Wow. It was devastating. Um, yeah, the, the um, city south of Medford, oh, man, it was horrible. Um, but, yeah, our, it was so bad that the air quality was so bad that our flight got canceled that night. And so we drove down wow. from Seattle to Medford and then eventually down here to Auburn. It was a long day. That's a long, long drive. All the way from Seattle. It was over the course of, yeah, I guess, two days, a night and a day. Okay. All right. Yeah. Oh. But anyways, yeah, it, it's been bad. So uh, that's why we decided to talk about that. And that's why I wrote um, this week's blog over at drgreennight.com. Check that out. Uh, but yeah, it just some insight into what, what this means, what uh, how we measure um, the air quality, where to yeah. find your information, and what to do about it. So. And this applies to the whole West Coast right now. Yeah, pretty much everybody. And, and at some point, I'm sure it may apply to other places as well. I mean, fires are not just... Uh, isolated to the West Coast. We definitely have them a lot more often, yeah. but they can happen just about anywhere. So, yeah. A few in the yeah. Rocky Mountain states this fire season. Well, um, they showed some maps that showed that the f um, smoke from our fires is, are making it all the way to the Midwest. Yeah. So so they're getting even some of our uh, yeah, from, bad air quality. These fires. Yeah. So it's so much uh, a part of life here that we have, uh, many of us are familiar with the uh, EPA's air quality index and right. not only the index, but how to access it. Uh, some of us even have the app on our phone that shows what the air quality <laughs> right. is. And we'll be talking a little bit about that because that's what uh, the drgreennight.com blog was about today. Right. Yeah. Um, what, let's see, where do we start with? Let's just start out with the AQI. Should, should we show what, what it looks like if you were to go to? Yeah, so okay. airnow.gov is the website. And if you go there, it's, uh, you can actually put in your address and it will come up with uh, your specific AQI, Air and, Quality and Index. And it so looks like this. This is uh, for <laughs> our current location, Auburn, California. That's where we're at. This was a little bit earlier today. What's the number there? 169. Yep, it is high. So you can see the different colors there. We'll go into those in a little more detail here, but each of those colors talks about a different hazard range, uh, ranging from good to hazardous. Um, so we can talk a little bit more about that. But right now, no. we are in the unhealthy range, the red range. It's called unhealthy. Should I show the... Uh, the yeah, let's talk about those different different. Let's talk levels. about the different ranges here. Okay, so the different ranges. So we're currently in, in our area, the, the red or unhealthy. Yeah, uh, so unhealthy. So that means that uh, some members of the general public, that could be even me and you. Could uh, be. Uh, can experience sy symptoms. I actually, this happened to me yesterday. I was yeah. outside for a outdoor um, party and I started to experience some symptoms. My eyes started to burning. I got a little uh, short of breath. So that's the unhealthy. And I'm a pretty, pretty healthy person. I have right. no underlying conditions. So if that's for a person who doesn't have underlying conditions. Right. It's for us. And so the, the way I look at these, um, these recommendations are that there's kind of for every color, there's two recommendations. Right, one for sensitive groups, one for healthy individuals. So that'd be your people with chronic lung disease, really bad allergies, uh, or just plain Heart really disease, sensitive. Pregnancy, to, young kids, yes, older pregnancy. adults, all of those yeah. people. So two kind of 
two uh, recommendations. We'll go over those for each of these. Let's yeah. go ahead and put those back yeah, up and just go up down. We can go through each all, one yes. all the way from the top to the bottom. So in the green, of course, is normal. Good for everyone. Sensitive yeah. and healthy groups. We are all okay. Uh, move into yellow, and, and these correspond to values on that index. Uh, so yellow so, considered moderate. Yep, and that is 51 to 100 on the AQI, and um, that means that some of those sensitive people may start to have some symptoms, but for most healthy individuals, or just all healthy individuals, you're not gonna have really any effects from it. Uh, from there, you move on to orange, which is unhealthy for sensitive groups. So. Orange for us is what we're seeing when there is a fire somewhere and we're able to tell. Yeah, we can start you to smell it a little. You can, t you you can, can see. You can see a little haziness in the, in yeah. the, on, on the horizon, that sort of thing. Um, so what's it mean when it gets to that part? So that means that those unhealthy, or sorry, sensitive groups, it's, um, they should not be going outside. I mean, they, they will be affected when it gets into that orange. Uh, but... Uh, even for healthy groups. Um, so the, 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 the people with conditions in the orange may, f or brown, whatever it is, may feel effects. Uh, it's not that they don't go outside, it's that they, they shouldn't be doing the, the exercising sure. and, 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 and really doesn't have that much impact on the people who are normally healthy, healthy at yeah. that level. Yeah, uh, probably shouldn't be going out you, for like a long run. You, you wouldn't necessarily <laughs> not run. Uh, actually, I have run. Yeah. I have done a run when the AQI yeah. has been in that. You level. may adjust it though. Yeah, I did a shorter run. Yeah, yeah, I did. Um, and then the red, we start to move into unhealthy, and that's where we're at right now, where we are. Uh, this says that all of the um, sensitive people obviously are going to be affected by that, but even some of the general public. Uh, and like yeah. I said, I felt some of that yeah. uh, yesterday. So red, we would probably not be doing our regular run. No, no, I, or, you probably should not be running at yeah. all at that point, uh, so, or very, very short run. I'll share our experience. Sure. The, the, the AQI was barely in the red, so just above 150 mm -hmm. on Saturday. Okay. And in the morning, and we knew it was gonna get worse throughout the day. Which it does. Yeah. And we really wanted to get our run in. So we did a short run with about 150. There you go. Even felt a little wheeze. Yeah. And that was it for him. I didn't feel anything. Um, but we would not have done it later in the day. We, yeah. we got done as quick. And we ideally wouldn't have done it then. I told him, oh, I don't really don't want to, but I didn't want him running alone. So I, I went yeah. with him. So to be uh, honest, and since we're putting that all out there, I ran this morning. And what was the a AQI when you ran? 160. Oh, so you kind of did the same thing we did. Yeah. Saying... Yeah, I looked it out. I went outside. Ideally, I, I wouldn't do didn't my smell anything. Yeah. I have actually, in the past, ran with a mask on. Yeah. Uh, I do. I I barely made it, so I'd never do that again. With this mask, or it was actually one of these masks, just kind of over my mouth, so I don't which, get any of the big particular matter. Right. But there we go. <laughs> we'll be gonna, talking about that in a bit. It's not going to do much for those smaller yeah. particles. The stuff yeah, that we'll really talk. gets in the parts of the lungs. That we'll talk more about that. But but, but for somebody who's more sensitive, we we'd recommend don't do that. they. Yeah. You can go outside, you know, to get what you need to at the store or whatever, and get from place to place. But don't spend time outside right. yeah. if you're sensitive. Right. And then as we move into the purple or very unhealthy, I'll put that up on the screen. Yeah, bring that back the, up there. The purple. So these are starting to get into um, where everybody really should be limiting their exposure outside. So purple yeah. is very unhealthy. That's 201 to 300. Maroon is 301 and above. And this scale is from zero to 500. Uh, 500 would be the worst day ever. I don't Actually, it goes above 500. Does it really? They just is don't that? have levels. Oh. <laughs> Um, yeah, so anything above that uh, 300, I mean, you everybody should be staying indoors. It should you should not be going out at all. And even yes. purple, I mean, really limit your exposure. So um, if you must go outdoors, you know, for whatever reason, then you should wear a mask. Yeah, um, yeah and those levels, everybody, and some of those um, red and orange levels. If you're sensitive, you may want to wear a mask too. The difficulty is a lot of those sensitive groups. If you have, you know, COPD or a lung condition. Wearing a mask can actually make you feel like you're not able to breathe either. So you kind of have yeah. this catch-22. Not that it does. Um, it just makes you feel like it. It feels like it, yeah. yeah. Um, you you kind of have this catch-22 about, uh, you know, I, do I go outside and not wear it and, ha and yeah. risk the exposure? Or do I wear a mask and feel more short of breath? That is something that you need to weigh. Um, yeah. In my opinion, I would, weigh, I would wear the mask. So the real value for this mask, the surgeon's mask. Yeah. It's really for blocking stuff coming from my mouth and nose out. Right. When I sneeze at you. At when you. you sneeze at me. 
But like you mentioned, yeah, it, it can block the big particles. Of course, it can get around because it doesn't get a seal. It's not a respirator. It's just a right. covering. Yep. So uh, we on the West Coast are actually, even before uh, this whole COVID thing, we were very well acquainted with we, N95 masks. We knew masks. about masks out here. <laughs> um, because pretty much every year there is a fire somewhere that will yeah. affect us. So so I I mean, I have a stash at home of N95s. So you probably, I don't know if you do too. No. Um, I, I, I use it for sanding too and when I'm doing some woodworking. But... Um, Which well, is a lot of people on the West Coast have N95s. We've had them for painting. <laughs> a while. And, yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's why you find the N95 at Home Depot, even before all yeah, the COVID. Yeah, hardware stores, right. Uh, but you also find, in addition to a, a good respirator that's something that um, protects you from stuff coming in, uh, the... Say about valve, yeah. Some the, of, some a lot of, them. lot of them that you find at Home Depot or, or, or the... the hardware store type, you'll find this little valve that just lets air out and then seals as you inhale. So it doesn't let stuff from the outside come in. Right. But blowing out, it's completely unfiltered, which is great for sanding or for painting or, fires. or, or working around uh, some kind of volatile material. Yeah. Or, or, you don't or, want or fires. To come yeah. In. yeah. But awful for, <laughs> for serving the purpose of what this mask does around COVID because it just lets the stuff ride out to everybody around. So that's why we say for COVID purposes, don't, don't wear, don't the, wear the valve, the, the valve mask. It, yeah. It's nice for yourself, but it does nothing for those around you. And right. really for general mask wearing in the public outside of the healthcare setting, we're encouraging people to wear these for uh, COVID, yeah. for protecting the others around them. Right. A little yeah. bit for themselves. So if you, if you, um, want protection of from both there are n95 masks that do not have the yeah. valve and those would give you protection now because both. of supplies are we still discouraging people outside of healthcare from using them all up i've not heard anything of that recently we I, we currently have what we need so yeah. it's not hurting us in our I have office not heard any moratorium on that but there was even until not too long ago there were still parts of the country that were having trouble getting them right but yeah, we had we, people donating them to us at yeah, one point, they, and, and we're which, okay. was, which was great. I but. think some of them were the ones with the valve. <laughs> yeah, some of them were. We kind of yeah. pushed those aside. Yeah. Nope. No yeah. thanks. Thanks, but no thanks. All right. So, so, comments and questions? Yeah, uh, let's go through those and see. Uh, thanks for joining us, by the way. Um, so, Teresa Roth, channel member, shout out to oh, you. Oh, yeah, Teresa and, and Deborah, Deborah Ronker, who you mentioned earlier. They were here uh, like was an the hour one ago. Who, uh, <laughs> she was the one who was packing up, and she was kind of said to have everything on go. She... Uh, mentioned that uh, claustrophobia can be um, with the with some of those. Uh, right, that, that, that's, that's something, something we need to treat go. outside of this, so that people, you know, mm -hmm. they have the claustrophobia treated, so they can wear their mask. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Deborah's apparently on four liters of oxygen, so that would probably oh, automatically that. put you in that sense. Oh yeah, group she needs rate. to stay inside. So um, she says she's even been wearing a mask indoors, um, yeah. which. Yeah, if you can tolerate that and you're, you're yeah. still doing all right on your oxygen, then great. Um, yeah, and that's about what well, we actually okay, then update this. I'll go ahead and give my two cents worth of uh, Dr. Vaughn's practical <laughs> AQI. Okay. <laughs> if, so everything we just told you. No, <laughs> Actually, I've not if, heard your practical AQI. You this, haven't. He, he's this is, uh, about, he's like, on pins and needles uh, here. Uh, he's on scared of what I'm going to say. Yeah. If you can smell... The smoke alter your activity if you're a generally healthy person. Reasonable. Because I, when I went out this morning, I, I, you know, took a big deep breath, made sure that I, and I couldn't smell any smoke, even though they said it was at one sixty nine. Yeah. Like, and I, and yeah. sometimes when I go there out, I'm wearing particulates. You can't. You know, smell. I can wear. I, I'm wearing a headlight, so sometimes it's so bad I can see the particulate matter in yeah. front of me. The big I don't part, run if that's the case, but. Today I didn't have any. You know, yeah. you know, none of now that doesn't stuff, apply so. to the people like Deborah in, in the special groups. Right. Yeah. Don't wait till you can smell it to Probably change not. your activity no, for no. those look, people. Look up that AQI. But that's kind of a general rule that we're able to use, and yeah, it works. It, and in fact, that morning that was just barely over 150, I, I didn't smell it. I, yeah. I could see the canyon was absolutely sure. um, hazy. Yeah. And I'm glad we got done when we did because it did get. You could smell it later. Yeah. In the day. Yeah, and that's how it does. It, it's typically better. I mean, I, I typically run in the morning anyways before it's light. So yeah. it's, it's a little better at that time. Yeah. And on so. often days when, when it's in the red, yeah. I'll choose to walk rather than run. Sure. Yeah. The, uh, we should mention the AQI does have a, um, uh, a forecast where it will say what the next day is supposed to be. 
I think should... that's supposed to be what it is at its worst, that forecast. Uh, I, don't I think, think so. Not not in the morning. Which is going to be later in the day. Right, usually. exactly. Uh, depending on what the fires are doing. Uh, but but it, it can help uh, you know, for planning activities uh, to know what it will be. Yeah, so I don't know if we said uh, how they can find it. It's airnow.gov. Yeah, pretty easy to find. And it's location dependent. In, it'll come up. It'll just have a little area where you type in your area code or city, um, and it will come up. And you can also um, get the app, AirNow app, and let it. Yeah, which may not be a bad idea these days. Um, having just it, to have that quick have that to access for you. Take a look at. Yeah, yeah. If you're not able to see haziness and smell smoke, or yep. or you're in one of the sensitive groups, maybe you want a little more information. Right. And Rusty Bar Bernard, you Rusty. showed up late, but thanks for coming. Rusty, you made it. <laughs> Eventually, before the show's over, you made it. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think that's it. There's Great. your uh, summary on that's the your show. AQI. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. Yes. And, and but before we go, <laughs> we should probably thank some people. Oh, absolutely. So over at drgreenapp.com, I'd like to thank Boo Boo Kitty and Teresa Roat. Thank you for what you do for your support on Patreon. And also, I like to thank Boo Boo Kitty and Lindsay Antwine. And congratulations to Lindsay Antwine because she got Bye. her diploma to be a funeral director. Oh, hey. She finished the program. Congratulations. She's been working on that a long time. And cool. And with honors, by the way, too. With honors? Yes. So people are dying to see what you can do. I, I, was, I was thinking of the joke, but you beat me to it. <laughs> <laughs> so congratulations. All right. Till next time. Hey, I'm Dr. Gwen Vaughn. Dr. Mark Vaughn telling you to stay in good health.